Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good morning. Amazing. Amazing. How does it feel? How does it feel to have a uh, Formula One car on public roads? It's incredible. Firstly, uh, so happy to be here to, to be a part of Mercedes. The journey, I've been with Mercedes since I was 13, so I'm 32 today. It's been a long, long partnership, and uh, to see this come to, uh, to a realization, you know, I've been talking to Mercedes for ages about doing a hypercar, a real top-of-the-line hypercar, and bringing some of the F1 technology, and finally, you've done it. So I applaud you, Dita, for doing it, and to see that this, is the, this is the, has the engine that I won the 2015 World Championship in, so it feels like it's a bit like my baby as well. So. It is, it is for sure. Now, everything's about timing. How, do you, how did you make that? Monza, one week before Frankfurt Auto Show, and you are on top again. Yeah, well, it's been, um, so I'm filming at the same time, Dieter, so. Okay, okay, uh, I have been, to get used to that. <laughs> it's been um, a long, long, long year, and um, a lot of work. There's over a thousand people in our team, so to prepare um, every week, weekend, weekend out, and, and fight the Ferraris, who have been obviously very competitive through the year, has been a massive challenge. So to finally go to the last two races in Spa and in Monza and overhaul them and now be in the lead of both the Constructors and the Drivers' Championship, super exciting. We still have seven races to go, so still a long way, but I think we can, you know, we're gonna work as hard as we can. This weekend will be tough. Uh, for sure, Singapore, that's clear. But uh, I think that's what we were hoping for, that Ferrari would uh, kick in and make it really exciting. That's where we are now, yep. and we are extremely proud of you. Thanks a lot, Louis. Thank you, okay. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, never before has racetrack technology been taken to the road more directly. Never before has a show car by AMG been so close to the Formula One champions, today even in a twofold sense. At long last, we wanted to extend the Sunday of racing to last the entire week. The development goal for our first hypercar was clear. We want to achieve the perfect interplay of all components for ultimate racetrack performance. Such a car, too, has its place in our portfolio, because Mercedes and Smart have a suitable solution for almost every mobility requirement. And our investment in the startup company behind the Volocopter goes to show that from our point of view, the mobility of the future might also happen in the third dimension. For more details about the AMG Project One and all other vehicles presented today, please join us for the Meet the Expert session tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. Well, um, unfortunately, we don't have any robo-taxis, but maybe this is coming up in the future. Now, looking around, I must say that our living room rather looks like a motor show. This is the EQA we wanted to show you. Let's see what the small one has to say. It's waving from back there. There you go. There you go. There it is. And we would be poor hosts indeed if we hadn't prepared a little extra for later. To get you in the mood uh, for the Me convention that will start on Friday, it is our pleasure to invite you for a drink uh, of, our, of your choice this afternoon as of 4 p.m. I look forward to seeing you there. Enjoy your first day at the IAA. I wish you the best of success. Thank you ever so much.